What's up, y'all? It's Wayne. Check out Undisputed every Friday to hear my hottest takes from the week in sports. From the Cowgirls to Coach Prime to LeBron. Undisputed is your go-to for the best sports debates from me, Skip, and the crew. Tune in and follow us on FoxSports.com, the Fox Sports app, YouTube, and anywhere you listen to podcasts. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. Man, I'm telling you, past few weeks, it's just been really good and stuff. Like, I, I mean, it's just like with YouTube and just everything surrounding YouTube. Like, I honestly, I cannot be upset about anything regarding YouTube right now. It's just really dope that, like, a fan base just pretty much, like, they pretty much grabbed a hold of me and was like, nah, we're we're overall going. It ain't even like a protect at all cost type thing. They're just showing, like a crazy amount of love towards my channel that's something like a, like i think i said before i hadn't seen something like that in like five years and that's all thanks to uh mcnasty um who else the do like there's so there's this crew on youtube i guess they call themselves because i don't know like i've been calling them by like their each individual name and stuff so i don't even know what to really call them but until today I was, it was brought to my attention that, um, these YouTubers had, like, pretty much had shouted me out, so they have a podcast, I recommend you guys go check it out, it's, those guys, like, I can just, I can only imagine, cause I've, like, I've uploaded a crap ton of reaction videos, um, to, about them, so, uh, yeah, you guys, like, if you've seen my reaction videos, then, um, about these guys, then yeah, their podcast, I was listening to it, and I don't usually like sit down and listen to podcasts and things, I think, I think the one time I sat down and fully listened to an episode was maybe, it was actually, no, when did Nicki Minaj go on Joe Button? It was like last year, it was definitely like, yeah, it was, yeah, it was like at some point in time last year, and it was when Nicki Minaj was just beefing with everybody in the music industry and stuff. I wonder how she's doing. She claimed she retired, but then came right back and was like, oh, no, I'm going to drop a remix with uh, Doja Cat. And overall, I was like, I, I, that's why I don't believe rappers when they say that they retired. I'm like, okay, like when I actually see you destroy, I think I've said that before too. It's like when I think I've seen you guys destroy your studio or you just overall like you get into acting or something, then yeah, I, I, I don't believe rappers anymore when they say that they're done rapping or they're gonna retire and stuff just for them to come out with like three four more albums or something and do a BT movie but <laughs> anyways back on this uh shout out though that um goons goons that's what they call themselves um yeah back on this shout out it's crazy because they um so and, I, and that's the thing I know that they were talking about me because it was the one guy, um, a part of that group. Um, his name, he goes like by Soup, Sniping Soup. Like I've seen, I, those are like the two that I've seen. But overall, he goes by Soup. And uh, he left a comment on uh, one of my uh, videos. It was one of the reaction videos that I did of his. And yeah, I mean, the fans though. Let me just like, for those that don't really know the situation. So the fans, I mean, dang. Like they, it seems like every minute at least or not all right maybe not every minute but definitely like within an hour then left a few comments and stuff um across my videos asking for another reaction and another reaction and another and that's why i'm like i'm getting kind of scared because i'm like yo i don't want these guys to like you know i don't want it to like annoy them or to like you know hopefully it's not like bothering them and things that's why i'm like I don't mind doing the reactions, but also I'm like, I also like want to show that I do care for these guys' channel. I know how people feel about reaction videos and all that stuff. And uh, overall, like me, I know people, they ask me like to react to my videos. I don't care. React to all of my videos. It's just, I don't know. I guess like, I, that's what I'm like. I don't really know how to feel about people reacting to my reaction videos. Like I, I guess like whatever, you know, whatever brightens your mood, like, I, I see people do that, um, things, like, when they react to a person's reaction video and stuff, but I'm like, I don't know, I can't, uh, I can't, like, I, that's just something I can't bring myself to do, I'd rather, 
react to the video that they're reacting to and then watch their reaction it just doesn't it just doesn't seem right to react to a person's reaction video and things it just doesn't make any sense but um anyways nah but back on the uh but yeah uh soup he commented then there was another youtuber from their group um named blarge he commented i still need to like check out his videos and stuff because that that's like the one guy that I have in fact i'm actually gonna pull his videos up I don't, I don't think I uh, reacted to his video. So, he, so yeah, he uploaded some uh, videos and things. But, yeah, he commented. And um, it's just crazy the fact that they, like, they know. Like, I, well, I mean, I, I knew two of them um, know that I did videos on them. But the fact that it was, like, they all, like, McNasty was the main one that I reacted to. He was actually the first one that I reacted to out of the whole group. And uh, to see, like, you know, he, he knows of me and things. I'm like, that's crazy. It's just really crazy. It's like, you know, YouTubers that you're, like, a fan of, like, they watch your videos and stuff. So, yeah, I was, like, I was tripping off of that. It was funny because, so these guys, like, they're known for cracking dark jokes and stuff. For those that don't, like, know who they are, they're known for cracking dark jokes. So, that's all what their videos are. Like, they, I mean, there's jokes where they're not dark and it's funny and stuff. But then there's jokes that they crack that's dark. Even there's at times where I'm like, dang, like, they're, they're allowed to say that? I'm like, they're not like, I is there like some, they, all right, I mean, what, whatever, whatever makes you happy. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to judge. But no, nah, like, they, uh, they, like, they say these jokes and things and I'm like, it, it's just, it to me, it's just kind of crazy how it's like, there's YouTube. But also though, I do like the fact that they like, they take it a step further in things you know they're not overall um like high like and that's why i'm like tend to doing things with youtube videos like there's stuff that i want to say and there's times where i am watching videos and there is like a joke that i want to crack but i'm like there's gonna probably be people that leave in comments i don't really want to deal with that and they're all like oh that joke was offensive that was too dark like why would you say something like that and i'm like I don't want to deal with that, but these guys don't care. I think that's honestly how you had to be on YouTube. You just have to have a don't care attitude and stuff. But they were overall talking about like how people gotten offended by their jokes. And I commented, I um, because I was like, let me see if they uploaded their podcast onto YouTube. And sure enough, they had like a YouTube channel um, based off of their podcast. And uh, yeah, I was just like, I left the comment. I'm just like, you guys don't ever have to worry about me ever getting offended by any of your guys' content, videos, whatever you say. Like, if you're flat out, like, just, like, trying to be offensive, like, I can understand, you know, I can understand, like, maybe if it's, like, for comedy reasons, but if you're flat out, like, saying some offensive stuff with no remorse, no regrets, and you're, this is, like, an ongoing problem, like, full on being, like, a racist or something, you know, like, something like that, like, prime example, then, uh, yeah, then I'm overall, like, I'll watch the videos and just probably just laugh at, like, the ignorance of you being racist, but I've been through that before, pretty sure it's everybody's, no, I mean, it's not even, man, that's, and that's another thing, I'm like, there's a, um, video that blew up, but it's like a lot of people are starting to react to this, uh, other YouTuber that, I, um, used to react to a lot, um, his name is, uh, EDP, and, uh, don't ask me what that stands for, because that's, um, that is not kid friendly, but anyways, um, no, there was like a video that I had uploaded. Like, when did I upload that video? I upload that. I think I uploaded that video maybe a couple of years ago, like two, three years ago or something. It was definitely in like 2018 or um, 2017. But yeah, I was like, I reacted to him, and I think I don't know if it's like other videos that's blowing up of his, but it's definitely that. There's like this one. It's like the best of of him and things, and it's like a compilation of all his videos and stuff. But yeah, that video's at like 100,000 views now. And uh, yeah, I was like, dang, that's wild. But now my second um, most viewed video, well, it ain't even like on, all on YouTube, but it's like on um, on this on my main channel and stuff. But now there's this guy, he, uh, I'm pretty sure, I, yeah, y'all know who that is, uh, freaking Minnesota boy. He, uh, yeah, he, he definitely probably would have had something to say about McNasty's videos. It would have been funny to see him react to McNasty and stuff, because I already know. I, like, just based off of, like, you know, how I dealt with them and the things that I've seen from him. Oh, yeah, he definitely would have been playing the race card on those guys, saying, like, oh, they're escaping with racist comments and all this stuff. And it's like, I, I don't know. That, I'm trying to think, like, I probably can count on the hand, like, how many, like, jokes about black people that they've said. But it's, that's the thing, though. 
that they for those like you know i'm pretty sure it's like if you are listening to this or if you guys like know who they are then i'm pretty sure you guys know their friend uh grizzy the thing is like if he if they are saying something offensive the youtuber grizzy because he's black he can very well step up and say something you know and it ain't even a thing where it's like he's afraid to no air all of these guys they find their jokes funny they all find the jokes funny like there's jokes that they've said and i'm like i'm like it's dark but it's funny though like this is stuff that i'm like yo if this was like on a tv show i will watch it i mean i mean like it's you know it like it deserves all of the publicity that it deserves like they deserve a tv show honestly like see like no i that would that would be a show i would watch if they had like an animated tv show or something or whatever live action whatever you want to um call it I will watch it because I'm like it's it it would definitely be funny. That that's I should recommend that to them guys. They should come out with like an animated TV show. I feel like yeah, it'd be on like Adult Swim or something like that late at night, bro. I seriously I stay up at like midnight, one a.m. and watch it. It'll just be like watching Family Guy and Robot Chicken all over again. But that's that's the thing though where I'm like it's like that type of comedy like Family Guy and stuff. Family Guy, it's you know, they be having like their dark dark jokes on there and stuff. But that's all I have to say what their comedy is equal to. So, I grew up watching Family Guy. I grew up like in that environment and stuff watching it. Um I didn't really watch um really too many other like animated shows. I know people they get on me when I say I never watched uh, South Park. I know people, they get, like, they, I've seen people, they've gotten, like, mad over that. Like, you never seen South Park? I'm like, I, yeah, I, I never watched it. I wasn't allowed to. Like, I was, like, I was a kid, like, when that show was coming on and stuff. Maybe if it's a show, like, now, like, I could, I guess I could go back and watch, like, the episodes and things. I is that show even still on the air? I feel like, no, South Park hasn't ended. South Park definitely, um, it has not ended. 23 seasons oh yeah it's still going on oh wow it was uh three days after my first birthday that's when that show uh um that show had aired huh that's crazy seemed like a lot of it I, it's crazy to think that that show started in 97 i don't know why south park canceled 2019 huh renewed through 2019 oh so it probably people oh, okay so they probably just like their contract just uh it um it had it, it ended in 2019, but yeah, most likely they're done renewed and then things. And I feel like with all of the people that get involved in writings, I um in like writing like TV show episodes and movies and all that, I feel like that with South Park, they definitely they they can hire. Well, yeah, they don't even have like it's not like it's like one person writing it, so they probably got like multiple people writing it. Although I did play the South Park video game, it was a coworker at my old job had told me about it, and I remember I did play a little bit of it. It seemed fun, like I I should have like kept it, but I think I don't know, maybe it was a video game that was coming out, and that's why I sold it. But I thought the game was fun. I thought it was cool. Um, yeah, yeah, it was it was a good game. I did like the feature in there where it was like. You, if you wanted the so the, on the easiest difficulty your character is white but on the hardest difficulty your character is black and i'm like that is that is amazing i'm like that that is seriously amazing shout out to the developers that made that game i honestly if they ever do come out with that i think i have like an older version of south park or it was like the first game that they made i never sat down and played it i should though because i was like the south park video game it was it was like different for me though. I think that's why I didn't really play it that much because I'm like, what? I, I've never played a game like this before. Like I I don't know. It wasn't so much as a comedy or the um sense of humor and things like that didn't get to me. Like I said, it it honestly, it takes a lot. It takes a lot to like get me like offended or upset or any of that stuff. Like let me just tell you guys like. I've been dealing with racism on like what well, like mainly on YouTube. Like I have to say like ninety nine percent of it, ninety nine point nine percent. Like I'm like one of those like chemical like cleaning supplies. But yeah, ninety nine point nine percent of the racism that I've dealt with has all been on YouTube. I have to say I've dealt with like minor racism outside of YouTube. It was like one. Well, it was like I know there was a friend that I went to school with. Me and him. That was like our sense of humor. We'll call each other like straight up, just like. 
uh, racist black names. He was black himself, but that was just what we did. Like, that's why I even do within my family and things. So we, I know, and I know people are like, wait a minute. Like, yo, yes, I, me and my family, like, we seriously will be like, we'll say some stuff like that to each other. And we'll just laugh about it. It's not, my thing is, though, it's like, you can like, yeah, if you have family where you can like say like stuff like that to them, whether it's a brother, cousin, sister, um parent whoever uh yeah it's like you know it just shows like you just have a don't care attitude and stuff and i feel like a lot of people they just need to have that and things like i i i actually do encourage that like you know like well i don't know like if y'all are joking around and things i i, I who well, who would be the one to break the ice i know i think it was mainly my family that broke that ice with me i never really went out and called them any like i think the only thing that we just won't call each other is the n-word but we'll call each other like porch monkey um what else maybe well but well, well we wouldn't necessarily call each other a coon but we'll, we would call each other a raccoon and stuff them like like if we're, if we're looking a certain way they're like dang you look just like a raccoon right now but it's like we're referring to the animal not like a racist derogatory name but some people would be like nah that's racist if you call somebody a raccoon and because no who was it um was it ninja i think it was ninja and he said, yeah, I, that's the thing. I'm like, if you meant to say uh, raccoon, say raccoon, but do not say coon because people, they're, they are going to call you out on that stuff. They will. So I'm like, say, say raccoon and things. Don't, do not, do not say coon because I don't know. Like, I guess like mainly trying to protect you from the black people that's really going to get upset. Me, like I said, it, it takes a lot to well yeah like i was saying it um takes a lot of uh you know to like get like that like upset reaction out of me and things i and it's it's you're gonna have to be there like all day and things like saying some racist derogatory stuff towards me but and even i was like i've had like borderline racist comments being said to me at my old job i remember one guy said that um because it was when spike lee i guess had won like an award or something for a movie that he did and uh the guy was like he came up to me and was just like oh yeah your uncle spike lee won an award last night i'm like i never said that spike lee was my we don't even look alike like that man got thick glasses my glasses are not that thick i'm like what are you talking about what else um in this comment this there is another comment from work the guy he was and he was black himself and he said that to me and i'm like dang like I mean, I, I, it's cool that you assumed that I went to college, but I I don't even know what kind of comment is that. But anyway, so the guy I accidentally shortchanged him like maybe three or four cents, or I think it was the, I think it was like three cents. I think I accidentally shortchanged him three cents. And so what had happened? What led him to saying that? So I think originally he was just like, "Oh, you shortchanged me," and so I had gave him the wrong change. And then he was like still standing there. Then I looked. I'm like, oh, my bad. Like, you know, I shortchanged you even some more and stuff. Or I was like, I didn't give him enough of what he was there for. So then I gave him like his uh, change. And then he was just like, yeah, you should have paid for college. And I'm like, what kind of comment? Like, bro, it is like, it was, I think I might have given him like two cents or something like that. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to things. But yeah, I was just all like, really and so i told it so it was funny because i told my supervisor at the time and i know she probably would have went off on dude or she 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 definitely would have given i think she did after that too she she did give him attitude after that because yeah once i told her then she was just like she was pretty upset about it and i told other um other people about it and then they were just like no uh uh-uh, that guy didn't say that and things and i even remember when they uh my old job they hired another uh supervisor and I think he was, um, I think the customer, he was still there when they hired him. But no, it was, um, shout out to the bass player in uh, the band Monitor. Um, that was that was my supervisor. I felt like I just needed to give them a plug real quick. But anyways, um, so yeah, so they hired, so when they hired him, and then he, I think that guy was still going around and stuff. And um, I think he, I, I don't know, I think he noticed, or I might have told him like, no, nah, I don't really like want to talk to that dude. I don't want to like ring him up or anything. Like, no, you got to make some like, oh, crazy comment like that to a person. A person ain't even going to really want to talk to you and stuff. So anyways, he, uh, yeah, so he, I told him he was shocked by it. A lot of people were shocked by it and stuff. They were just all like, nah, like they, they, they didn't say it. I like every, I think every time when I tell people that story, they're all like, wow, like that's, that's crazy. So I did get like, I did get some looks. Um, I had one lady, she shook her credit card at me one time. I'm like, bro, like. What is, like, I don't even know what was wrong with some of them customers at that place. I'm like, y'all are 
weird, bro. I'm like, there's like customers where it's like they're like cool and dope, and you want to like hang out with them, but it's like you see them hanging out with another customer and like or a customer that trips and things. I'm like, what is the problem? Customers stealing food. I remember. I'm, oh man, I can honestly go off about like all the things that went off on my job. Like I remember we had to have like an open box policy because customers were stealing food. And uh, there was a one girl. It was like she would she would say like, "Oh yeah, I only had like uh like one piece of bacon and things," but really she had like five pieces of bacon. And I'm like, "Bro, just if you don't my and she would be wearing like freaking expensive clothes like Yeezys. What else did she wish you? I'm like, bro, I, I understand y'all can come up up in there wearing Balenciagas, freaking Gucci Yeezys." Um, some other like expensive shoes or clothing and things like the one girl I, I'll never forget with like I feel like I shouldn't be putting all these people on blast and stuff I figure I don't work there anymore so it doesn't even really matter but one girl came through there with a Balenciaga outfit and her car declined I guess uh, at the time being I didn't really understand because I'm like yo if you have enough money to buy a Balenciaga outfit you have enough money to buy a salad like I think her salad was like maybe five to seven dollars and I'm like I don't understand. Like, you mean to tell me you spent all that money on that outfit? Like, the shoes, the hoodie. And I looked online. I remember I seen how much are Balenciaga Triple S is now. Because I think they went up in prices. Balenciaga Triple S. I'll go to Nordstrom's because Nordstrom's, that's where they kind con- Oh, actually, I could just go on the Balenciaga website. Trainer for men. Them shoes is big, too. Them shoes is huge. Sold out online. Well, how much does it cost? Hi, people buying these. Dang, they were beefing people buying these shoes online. That's crazy. I'm just trying to look for how much they cost. I don't care about if they sold out. I'm not going to buy them. I don't have the money to buy them. $995 for those shoes. She had that, and then she had like this $300 uh, Balenciaga hoodie. And yeah, overall, um, her card declined. I'm like, wow. All right. I mean... I guess. It's funny how they like hurry up and be taken off and things in their car. They know they ain't got no money. I'm like, don't come down here then. If you don't have money to spend or you don't want like to, um, or yeah, if you are if you don't have money at all, then don't come down here. Freaking bring your food in from like home or something. Like that's what I'd be wanting to say sometimes. I mean, man, I wanted to say that so many times at that place. Like, bro, just bring your food in from home. Like, I don't, I don't want, like, I don't know. I'm a positive outgoing person. I try to be cool with everybody. But at the same time, I'm like, yo, if you're going to be acting weird and crazy towards me, I'm going to be acting weird and crazy towards you. Like, I'm not going to go into Nordstrom's where they work and be trying to get like an outfit, but my car declined. I hurry up and take off. But, you know, I'm not that type of person. I'm like, overall, other people shouldn't be like that too. And I'm like, man, y'all, y'all older than me, but acting younger than me. Like, I don't understand that type of behavior. But anyways, but um, no, overall, like, yeah, I dealt with uh, some, I, well, I wouldn't necessarily, like I said, I got like dirty looks, crazy comments, um, <laughs> I pushed it. I pushed. There is one time. There is this customer. He was. He. I. I think he overall did not like me. That dude. He just every time I say I'll say stuff to him, he won't respond. But he'll say things to other people and have like full on conversations with them, like right there in front of my face. So there was an occasion where it was like it was like seven in the morning. I just woke up maybe like ten minutes ago from like getting off of the bus and things. So I'm like I'm like you know I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm half asleep. But I, it, you, you ever just get that point where you're at work and you just saw like, it's like that early morning, like don't want to be there feeling. So that's overall how I felt. But I was like, I don't want to be messed with. So like when the crazy homeless people be acting all crazy and weird down the street, I'm like, look, keep that energy over there. Don't bring that towards me. Just, just keep that over there. Keep that on the other side and stuff. But, um, yeah, I just like, I don't like being messed with. I don't like to, you know, people crossing me and things. So anyways, he's getting on the elevator he lets everybody else on. No big deal. So he, me and him are the last ones to get on. And he's walking slow to the point where I'm like, the doors are about to close. So I seen the doors was like getting to a closing point. He's still like walking all slow into the elevator and stuff. So I just, I wouldn't necessarily, I stiffed forearm him. So I pretty much just took my forearm, pushed it into his back and pushed him in the elevator. And I'm like, dude, you shouldn't take that long walking into an elevator. It was like maybe... How many people? I think it was like maybe two or three women went on first. And uh, yeah, and them eleva- the elevator was kind of big. So I'm like, okay, they're all standing at the back. You can very well like, it, 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 even if it was like where 
one was like there like like two of them was standing against the wall and then another one was um like standing uh like kind of in front of one of the other women he still had space we all had space to go in that elevator that dude was just only doing that and things just so he can make me mad or make me miss the elevator and stuff so overall yeah i pretty much stiff armed him into the elevator i can't like i felt like i can feel him staring at the back of my head i'm like please say something I'm like, it's, but I'm like, bro, I'm like, it is early in the morning. I'm telling you, if you try to cross me right now, I might just have to roundhouse you and stuff. Like, I don't want to roundhouse you because most likely I'm going to lose my job in the process. But I think I would, I think I would have uh, um, reached that point. I'm like, I don't want to, but people, they just got to act weird towards you for no reason and things. But anyways, yeah, work, work was, uh, you know, working downtown, it was, it was a different environment and stuff. Like I, I think now I just, yeah, I'm like, I'm just doing everything I possibly could with YouTube. So when places and everything does open back up, like YouTube is all like, you know, YouTube is taken into play and I'm able to just be a full time YouTuber and things. My goal, honestly, is to like when I get to 100,000 subscribers and that's when I'm like, OK, yeah. And it's like now it's time to just, you know, now it's I, I went. I mean, I am I am already focused on YouTube. I'm like treating it as if I do have 100,000 subscribers. But, um, yeah, I'm like, that's overall the goal to where I'm like, okay, like I'm making enough money. I can like, you know, live off of this and things. And, uh, yeah, overall, uh, you know, just have YouTube as a job. I'm like, I'm overall, I can overall say the things I want to say, do the things I want to do. Um, I ain't got to wear a uniform. I can wear whatever outfits I want to wear and stuff. Like that was like, man, I wouldn't necessarily say it was degrading, but I'm like, dang, bro. What's up with these uniforms, man? Like, I'm like, I don't want to wear uniforms no more. Like, I just, I, I'm like, man, I just want to wear, like, my own outfits and stuff. Like, I couldn't even, honestly, I pretty much, every time when I went to work, I always wear some, like, black sweatpants. They was even trying to get on me about black sweatpants. They was just like, no, nah, you got to wear jeans. I'm like, look, I get sweaty. And I'm like, and, I'm, and jeans and sweat, they just don't mix. But some, like, sweatpants, like, some, like, Kind of like how Adidas, like that type of material, bro, you don't feel nothing with those type of pants. I'm like, honestly, I love Adidas pants. I love Adidas pants so much. I think I talked about that in the beginning when I very first started my podcast, how much I love Adidas pants. If I didn't, I'm seriously going to spend like 15, 20, 30 minutes talking about my love for Adidas pants. Like if Adidas can just send me a bunch of the um, Tyro 17 pants, I think they stopped production of those pants. But if they could just send me like a hundred of whichever colors that they prefer and things, I'd seriously like I I would I those are the only pants I like wearing. I don't like wearing. I mean the Tyro 19s are nice and all, but I love the Tyro 17s. I had um I had a couple of pair of the Tyro 17s, but the zipper broke on one, so I had to pretty much get rid of those. And then I got like these other ones, and I'm like, yeah, I'm wearing I'm wearing them right now. I'm like, I love these pants so much. Like I just switch on between because i got two pairs i like because the tyro 19s i do like the tyro 19s but i like the tyro 17s because it has like the half stripe going down the thigh and things so i'm like i like that design better and stuff but um no when places open back up i got seriously just gonna stock up on adidas pants because i'm like now that i'm like yeah now that i'm like you know i can just pretty much wear whatever i want well uh, yeah, no, yeah, I'm like, pretty much I can wear whatever I want to wear. I'm like still stuck in this stage where I got to wear black pants everywhere I go and things. I don't have no other colored pants and stuff. All I got is black pants. I was like buying nothing but black pants for work. So I'm like, dang, like that's what they did to me. I'm like, man, you at least gave me like, at least allowed me to wear like some khaki pants or something, you know, like to so change it up a little bit, but for some blue jeans, like I, I probably wouldn't like, I'm like, now I'm just closed minded to just black pants. Like I can't wear no other pants and stuff, but anyways um yeah shout out to mcnasty and his um no shout out to goons shout out to goons mcnasty the do um grizzy uh soup who else blarge all of those guys shout out to all those guys um yeah but yeah if you guys like check out my youtube channel if you haven't um all of their i've pretty much reacted to all of them um i'm trying to think i can't remember if i reacted to blarge i need to like see because i think there's like more members of that group and stuff so i'm like i gotta like shout them all out individually and things but um yeah go subscribe to them if you can find them pretty much just look up mcnasty you can find all of those guys but so yeah shout out to them um what else uh shout out to my old job 
they uh given they gave me a lot of opportunities i can't even be mad at that place that place they really did help me a lot um with uh youtube and things like i was able to get a lot of things i know if i what if it wasn't for them i most likely wouldn't be able to get any of those things but shout out to them um yeah i'll talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching and or listening if you're viewing this on youtube make sure you like and subscribe and if you're viewing this on the podcast sharing service make sure you follow or subscribe however it's set up and if you are purchasing tickets from seat geek make sure you use my promo code tmos boss it will knock 20 dollars off your first purchase and then that being said i'll talk to you guys later thank you for watching and or listening and peace